They don't have a name. They used to have one, and a lot of people would like to know what it is. Some call me Trilby, and as a name, it suffices. I've been called many things. A burglar, a hoodlum, a criminal. I prefer to think of myself as a gentleman thief. And tonight, I have something potentially very rewarding in store. My fence phones me in the middle of the night and asks if I know about the Defoe Manor. Apparently, the last of the Defoe line has obligingly died without heirs, leaving all the family valuables up for grabs. The lawyers have the place locked up tight, of course, but that's never stopped me before. And the place is, of course, deserted. Yes, this should be a painless and rewarding evening's entertainment. And that's what I am hopefully here for. Let's blindly play a request. Five Days a Stranger, requested by Real Shard. This game created by uh, Ben Crosshaw and Chris Jones. And it's a point and click adventure game. So, let's get into this. Now, I played just the first bit of this game, just so I know um, everything works. I did have a few issues earlier on with, um, with description boxes not turning up, but we'll get to that in a moment. If continues and the gentleman thief makes his entrance so this is our hero well anti-hero more like truly and here is a room in the man room in the manor so let's do what all good safe crackers do and crack the safe damn empty guess the family solicitor got here first books yeah it turns out without a problem i did have problems that any time um that turned up it just was not um it just was not going to have it. Drills are either completely empty or full of meaningless paperwork. It's too bulky to carry around. It's also unsigned and therefore valueless. I would be a hundred percent sure of that, but I'm not sure. Had no value except to the owner, and he's dead. Well, I guess then there's nothing else in this room. This cabinet's got something. See from here, it is empty. Fair enough. So let's open up the door. I prefer to leave the same way I came in. That's fair enough, but we haven't got anything yet. Oh yeah, well. It won't open. Must have been Jared shut somehow. Guess I'll have to take the old fashioned way out. Hmm. Mysterious. Let's close up the safe because we're nice like that. What? Oh no. No. Stay away from me! Stay away! I'll get into him. No, wait. I keep forgetting I'm wearing this thing. But who the hell was that guy? I was under the impression this house was empty. Yes, and no heirs, meaning there's nobody who should be here. Well, let's try and open this door. Locked. But that wouldn't stop you, would it? Oh well. So, open this door. Okay. He's in one of these, surely. Ah, we find a bathroom. I can really do with a haircut. Maybe, but... Hmm. Someone's moving around. Shouldn't be this much underneath. Let's have a go at messing around with this. Nothing here. How anticlimactic. Love sort of cat burglar who leaves the taps running out of sheer malevolence. Fair enough. Jam shut. Yeah. When I need it, I'll let you know. Fair enough, but it wouldn't be a point and click adventure game if we didn't at least check out the toilets. And the sink? Yeah, we already said that. Okay, so I guess we've got to go downstairs. Not so much for finding any valuables, yeah. That's being a little weird. Well, here are some doors. No latch, no chain, no deadbolt. Doesn't even have a keyhole. Why wouldn't the bloody thing open? It's becoming very tiresome. 
A front door with no possible means of opening. Fair enough. Should always keep abreast of the day to day events. Did I pick it up? Yes. Let's, um, let's look at this newspaper. It's a copy of a local paper dated last Friday. That's very weird. I don't like mysterious voices that um, talk over me when I'm reading a newspaper. It's it's very distracting. Uh, lost of a long running. The phone line was found dead. Home 24. Hanging from a tree in the front yard of a Defoe Manor. Tokyo, his wife, and then himself. We've already proved the possibility of a third party. Now the other item we got, I think, is just Grolly, which is grappling hook launcher made to look like an umbrella, which I suppose is fairly, um, fairly weird. Right. Well, we could use the phone, I guess, but there's not much point. Mine's dead. Somehow I was expecting that. Fair enough. Let's go this way. Where there's a portrait. Too big to carry around me. Uh, I was kind of hoping it would be a little more than that. It has a professional quality portrait of a bearded man in a Victorian explorer's outfit. Sir Roderick Defoe. Okay. More random exploration bits then. Oh, you found the kitchen. What's in the fridge? Evidently, no one cares if I starve in this place. Yeah, the cooker. May have had something to cook, but I don't. Stupid to carry around with me, but if I have <laughs> any lethal qualities of quantities of salt, I know where to look. Okay. Don't think there's anything in there, and that's just the bottom of the sink. So for points of that oh, we found a twig. Pick up sticks. We found something potentially useful. And a swimming pool. Locked. Okay. Hmm, somebody has apparently been digging. Someone's telling a real number on this lawn, digging the way out? Oh, it seems more like they were searching for something. Very tall, very smooth, very sturdy. I suppose if we wanted to get out, there's always, um... Grolly. Just make Grolly to get over the walls, but I understand there's a ravine on the other side. I'd better not risk it. That's a little convenient, but okay. Well, I suppose we haven't technically stolen anything, and we don't want to waste our time, so... Let's head... Oh, oops. That's the one. Let's head over this way, then. So I think during this first video is probably just going to be exploring the um, location. Trying to find things, because so far we've got a twig. There we go. Twig and we found lethal quantities of salt. Uh, there's still the other half of the house to explore, I guess. Ooh, more stuff. What's in my dresser? Just ornamental. All the drawers and cabinets are all empty. Fair enough. There is a sofa. I'm gonna sit down and can wait till later. Books? Books are sometimes valuable. But not helpful. Let's have a look at the landscape painting. I have some pretty unscrupulous art dealers, but I doubt even they deserve this. Hey, we found a TV! Huzzah! And the cord's apparently selectable, so we might be able to pick that up. Still, let's turn on the TV. Had no comment at this time. 
Number news, the society world is still shaken by the sudden death of Sir Clarence Defoe. Sir Clarence and his wife Julia were found dead last Thursday in Defoe Manor. Our correspondent, Peter Daltrey, has the report. It was just four weeks ago that uh, this place was a buzz of activity as Sir Clarence Defoe moved in with new bride Julia Swanson Defoe. Now, after this shocking tragedy, the place is quiet as the tomb and empty of human life. Aside from us, of course. Heh. <laughs> Sir Clarence had only proven his attachment to Defoe lineage almost one year ago. And since then, had been renovating the long abandoned family mansion in preparation for his marriage. The police have already declared the tragedy as a murder suicide, although many have insisted that Sir Clarence was incapable of such an act. The debate rages on while the fate of the house and the family fortunes remain unclear. This is Peter Daltrey, BBC News, Defoe Manor. Thank you, Peter. Our top stories again. Minister. Hmm. I hate television. It doesn't seem to be picking anything up. Maybe I should try again later. Fair enough. VCR. Doesn't appear to be a tape inside. Well, I suppose we can always take the cord then. So hey, we've picked some things up. Hopefully they'll have a use at some stage in the game. Hey. Oops. It's about time you showed up. I'm sorry. And well, you should be. I've been stuck in this house for days. Where's the way out? I'm sorry, I don't understand. You're the guy who owns this place, right? Uh, no. No. So how'd you get in here? A uh, window on the second floor. Is it still open? No. No, it jammed shut. Damn. Well, it looks like the house is a new guest. I hope no more turn up. We only have five chairs. Well, excuse me, I've got work to do. Wait a minute. Yes? Who are you? Oh, I beg your pardon. Hardy's the name. Philip Hardy. Call me Phil. And you are? Troby. Mr. Troby, I'm afraid you are now a prisoner. Like me, like everyone else in the house. A prisoner? Don't ask me why, but once you get in, the house won't let you leave. I've tried all the doors and windows. None of them are open. The garden wall's unclimbable, and I can't tunnel under it. Yeah, so you were digging. But why? Who's keeping us here? Beats the hell out of me. Whoever it is, they certainly will not be safe from my fists once I get out of here. So if there's something you're not telling me, now would be a good time to get it off your chest. I assure you, I am completely mystified. So how many more people are there in this place? Only three more. There's Jim, the youngest. He turned up just after I did. He's a good kid. Second, Simone Taylor. You probably know her off the telly. She's a correspondent for the BBC. She came here to make some kind of documentary, I think, but now she's stuck here with us. And lastly, there's AJ. Skinny bloke with a tash. He won't tell us who he is or where he came from. All I know is he's been here longer than anyone. Nearly a whole week. And I think I've already met him. Oh, what a heartwarming story. Anyway, why don't you see if you can track them all down? I'm calling a house meeting in a lounge. Spread the word. I trust you enjoy your stay at Defoe Manor, Mr. Trilby. I don't understand. Just find the others and tell them to meet up in a lounge. You can discuss things properly then. Hmm. Something strange appears to be going on. There is a rifle, though. Oh, this thing's, look, this thing's heavier than it looks. I'm not carrying this around everywhere. Better find a place to put it down. Eh. 
Well, it would be tempting to just hide this around, but I don't think this sort of game. We'll put it back. Someone's moving around outside. Let's try one of these pictures. Uh, not a little sickening. Tiger head. More like car boot sale material. Um. You know, I wanted that ugly thing, which I don't. I have to break the glass to get to it. Oh, what is it? Bell jar containing a rather hideous looking wooden idol. Destroy the idols, burn the books. First rule of any creepy things going on in a mysterious house. Burn the idols, burn the books. So, yeah, those books. Burn the books! <laughs> Not joking, burn the books. Rocking chair. Yeah, fair enough. So, stuck in a mysterious house with four other people, mysterious voices going on, various movements happening. Very mysterious. So, I'm going to call this a video for now. Next time, we assemble in the lounge and see what we can do. Until then.